Sziasztok! Kötözök szépen mindenkit itt, és vagyok a folytatással. Folytathatjuk a fő küldetésünkkel. Meg kell keresni a cipő bővülőt. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks will dirty their boots, go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? A witcher, and I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like, after we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Giving me no choice. De jó, hogy már benyomtam a védekezést. That's great with the deep end of me. Slow now, let's not do anything rash. What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast, on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Nothing really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out, though. Uh-huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lot, that's another matter. You'll come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Come on. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they've just come off my stamped. A seat, sir, please. So then... Who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. 
I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And, if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get wastewater for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. All right. Let's see if we can't figure something out. Yeah. Ah, see? I knew we'd clinch it. Fine. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort. Earn piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but... You won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Az valami ló. Ja, ez játék volt. Nem látod se. Won't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? Skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. here recently. His scent is still strong. Let's look around. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime.
attic. Let's go. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. This is lover? I don't rightly know. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Hey, Anish. Detlof van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must right, complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Any idea what it could be? Detlove have any enemies? Indeed. Detlove gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renoed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Why do you think that? Any signs or clues to that effect? None to be found. Apparently she disappeared one day. Her belongings disappeared with her. Not a scenario one associates with kidnapping. In my humble opinion, she left on her own. Scared off, perhaps, by a bout of Detlaf's rage that revealed his other, more monstrous side. Dedlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Dedlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Dedlaf ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important. Higher vampires have their ways. All kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched, for months on end before giving up. Clearly Renoued knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks, leave no way for him to find her. Even if Renoued did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Tools were used recently. Detlaf unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really now, Geralt, must you? Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de Lacroix. Detlaf's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter. 
All of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Blackmailer. Kinda curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detlef's innocence. Isaac. Actually, it is. Detlef's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowed. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detlef. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlef? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'd have wait with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Not Mr. Matt. Not that. Sinclair fish. Elég sok ez expert adott most. What's going on and here? Hungry. Oh, a dog, just a German. Hmm. What 
are you selling exactly? Top quality dyes. Guaranteed to produce intense colors that never bleed. Ah, uh, none for me, thanks. What do you mean? Even the best warrior must look camped, care for his appearance. Uh, for example, he might favor bright colors to stand out from the crowd, or dark to slip unseen through his lover's window by night. Hmm. Usually focus on armor's other attributes. Colors not so important. Számomra is fontos a szín. Csak az a helyzet, hogy ideig az Agni festék van nálam, az csak Witcher armorra lehet tenni, pedig én erre is szeretnék. Fine, show me what you got. Nincs piros. Gotta go. So long. Rejtétek, oda van éva egy varázstágy. Ehhez is oda van éva egy varázstágy. Ehhez, hogy gyerekje. Ez is gyerekje. De viccel felszerelésként viszont. Akkor a... Minek kellett akkor behozniuk? 40 alatti az összes viccel felszerelésed. Semmit nem lehet velük kezdeni a festékekkel. Vissza akarom szerezni a módosításokat, hogy be tudjam tenni a fejvelbe, meg a páncélbe legközelebb.
Farewell. No, see you later. Așa că m-aș fără aici, atât eu cu un cât. Ez mellé küldetés, ugye bár amin voltunk. Vagy nem, a főküldetés volt, és akkor most ez mellé küldetés, hogy a örege, öregasszony kell megnézni, hogy hogy van. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I cut it short. Yes. Years of suffering. Do you know what was worse than the hunger? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices. To sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now, but to you, well, perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brewed as a white? <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember... You always have warm food awaiting your return. The book of lust is hard and dirty. I won't oh, to dust the last light. Then give.
around some. Oh, so can I have Nothing interesting here. Full. This one's full too. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Az előzete nem megyett a lehetően a kulcsot. Ezen terem a fejem, hogy lehet, hogy ott van a kulcs, csak a földön. Ezt tudom, meg még nem nézni. Ugye bár sok itt a kanál, simán el lehet rejteni közt egy kulcsot. But no.
Ha visszamegyek a házba és leteszem a hazamányomat. Okay, throw a fan. Oh! You want to most erősödtem -e, vagy gyengültem? Tudjátok a előző részbe a Jennifer-nek hála, hogy eljutottunk egy. Mint a gén laborba. Garrett of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. No, <laughs> as means Bukta. Garlic and drive us as a Chafabos Santia vampire. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your Grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Whoa, this is work for a witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, <laughs> impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? 
Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me. Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mmm. Mmm, yes. Yes. The, the West Bank of the saint -La -Tour. No, that, That's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. saint -Réal. The 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard, see if there's not been an incident. Song real? Never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. Wait. Your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing.
Then we will be off. This vampire, have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. have attacked the wagon. We must help! Stay back, your race. We shall see to this. Back, you beast! Be gone! Help! Save us! Back, you beast! Be gone! Save us! On. If, if not for you, we'd have been done for. Oh, thank, thank you. You, you saved our lives. Hooray! Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in all Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant, could be the steward, could be the one was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Captain de la Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? This is an inspection. We've got questions. You'll answer them. Oh, and who are you, sir, to speak to me this way? This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about San Real? I am at your service. The Saint Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Saint Real. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally, and let no one near the fat. 
Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, uh, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But... but... Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is the Sonreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. Malaki bye, Baban. We shall wait here, Master Fabricio. What if Fabricio's blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. Let's see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Mm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Mm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palette of his. Ah, okay. Got Camino over here. Ez 72-es volt. Akkor ez a 71-es. Ez az. Ervalus. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. Huh. Yeah, fantastic.
Then go. Right here. 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Tana. Full. Tana. Full. This one's full too. Egyet néztem meg. Full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of Sonria? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Come on. Then get to work. Let's broach those barrels. Ready. Step aside. So? Mmm. I'd recognize this taste anywhere. This one is good. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But, Your Grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything, if you agree to show me mercy. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool, very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Who'd you sell the wine to? A few weeks past at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. 
He called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I have no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? At the last you ever saw of them? They... that is to say, a, a few days passed. A, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel, and... well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace... I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sintrian Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. Need a minute. Make haste. We await only you. We would not have made it far without your grace. The important bit is yet to come. Megcsinálom először ezt a küldét, ha nem bánjátok. Jacob? Heal, Mohort! Down! Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Louis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See? Not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you, you could lift the curse. Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. Not my business what you believe, either. Ha! Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, 
A broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. Stay with me a bit long. Swear I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. Blood. Seen from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. Or bark. Resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work Logger here. was making good time. Strange, though. Willows isolated. No other trees near it. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm-hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome laugh for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. Hát csak az, hogyha most a, ha ő visszaváltozik emberré, meg minden ugye a fa. Hát a vérzés miatt bele is halhat. Nem? Ez dittálja a logika. Vagy ahogy egy bizonyos ember mondaná, a tudomány. Not attacking. Doesn't mean it's not a threat, though. Banya. Yeah, I'm gonna allow her on. No man.
Nu am vorba de aia aia răs. Két percet nem igazán kell venének ide. Outlook's inhabited. No sign of the dweller though. Guess I'll look around. Notes on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Warm. Smells inconclusive. No idea what ingredients are in there. Vigory Vonis. Conclave of mages banned this tome. Bones ground into dust. Antwana Balamba. That's excellent. Spell enhancements or trophies. Arrow broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch off a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest or a bad one. Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft. Yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? If an I, the witch of Link's Crag would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. The Lady's Knight. You ever make it here? Sagaras. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first mm -hmm. night we spent together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not abide it. What if I asked you nicely to lift the curse, please? Gareth met the fate he deserved. And what happened to his wench was not my fault. All right, so you didn't cast the curse. But could you help lift it? I probably could. But why ever would I? I'll humble myself, prostrate myself before you like the Gareth of the Tale did. I beseech you to help me. Lift the curse that imprisoned Daphne in the tree. When I saw you enter my hut, I thought, now there is a fellow who shall bend his neck for no one. Stand. None, not even I can restore to the last the yes she has lost, can erase the suffering she has endured. We cannot bring her back to life, but I shall tell you how you might let her depart in peace. Yet my aid shall have its price. A lock of your hair? Mm, how 
can I know you won't use it to cast a spell on me? I require this. I must, for with it I will cast a spell to conceal me from you for all time, and will use it for nothing else. You will nag me never again, and you've nothing to fear, I assure you. I always keep my word. I'll trust you against my better judgment. Lock of my hair's yours. Splendid. What do I need to do? You must convince the maiden her beloved yearned to return, but perished in the attempt. Take her silk kerchief and a fragment of Garrett's remains. His bones lie bleaching in the cave beneath this rock. Fire must consume the kerchief and remains. And remember, your heart, your intentions must be pure. Clear? Yeah. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. And adieu. Once you walk out that door, never shall we meet again. Frásznak van a barlangba ezek a rohadt tögök.
Ne ez a bajom már, hogy az ég vagy nagyon messze vagyok. Rászért nem bírt belehalni. Plate armor and some bones. Gareth's remains? These then? Wonder why the armor came apart. Magic? Got just back to the tree. Mind. Lift the curse. It, Roach. So? You met the witch. You must have. What did you learn? That witch? She's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. But I know some sorceress is witchier than her. Joyous, bleeding news, but what about Daphne? I can lift the curse, free her. By performing a ritual, making a sacrifice of her kerchief and Gareth's remains. But we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds. Then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood. Much of it. 
Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. I've chopped and stacked the wood. What now? My turn. Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this'll turn out, so just in case, stand at a distance. And if you see me draw my sword, run. Look your last to the world's four winds. From the south, not a word. From the east, no cry is heard. From the north, silence sighs. Hear hollow eyes. Cease your vigil. Dead he lies. Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. The day of your freedom has come. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Behold, a bone of he to whom you offered your love. Gareth, my Gareth, he shall never return. No, he won't. Is his love for me gone? Did he stay true? Gareth remained faithful to the end of his days. The time comes that I depart. I've waited too long. I've suffered too much. And now I wish to go. Farewell, lady. I thank you, stranger. And you, my knight. I thank you for speaking to me. For standing vigil at my feet. I did not think it would end this way. I hoped we could revive her. But... I guess it was not to be. Happily ever after doesn't often happen in life, sadly. You did well. Here, your pay. And the book is yours as well. Thanks. Take care of yourself. So long, Witcher. I must think. Put this straight in my head. Uh, I've sweat dripping down my bum furrow.
My men stand ready. Say the word and we will make for Fort Astra. It is time to catch these wine thieves. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. Favorite Vintner. It's not him. Just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing of men. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The Master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand that, I see. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. Ezek a hangok nem tetszenek a háttérbe. Captain, do the honors. 
Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. <clears throat> Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call him... Wait. He doesn't wish to speak. He needn't. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? what? Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he is all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Crikey, no! Don't let him! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! Barrels. Where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader. Only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. That one. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. Who hired you? He... he'll kill me. Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the man for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Cintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go to town. He's late. Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my godsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Still don't know this Cintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Need to find the Cintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Cintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. 
And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, <coughs> the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Sintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Sintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Sintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique. Consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Gotta nab the Sintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men. Surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Uh -uh. Out of the question. If the Sintrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, your grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event gonna be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Niente parade. Ezek nem fognak kelleni egyedül. Here's some free advice, which means you've no reason to live. Live to spite. Vivrad Nostra Dulcesta! Witcher, save us from the beast! Oh. Is that true necessary? There's a no safer place than 
Welcome to... I'd like to change some coin. By all means. Come by later. Effort at your service, sir. Hire a witcher. I dreamt I was a wolf. Sir, to Perak Perandet. A perfect. fruitful hunt to you, witcher. Sabo. It's a crime. <laughs> You're from the north. That's painfully clear. Excuse me? There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands open. Please come in. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. A maszkjaim azok még megvannak. Ja. Thanks. I think that's all I need for now. Ever your servant, sir. Nothing to see here. Move along. One more. And another two. My heart's about to burst from a surfeit of beauty. Mm, 
something special? You are the Arc famed Beauclerc, her you? most gracious duchess. Late. Now, why does that not surprise me? such a sense of style. My, my, Geralt. Not bad at all. And you've even a mask. Just not the kind required. Huh? They're a little different, the ones Mandragora members wear. I've brought you one. Put it on. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm-hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise, that's certain. How do we find this Intrian? Have you a plan? Key is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora's soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. Shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti. A master of visual illusions come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm... I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the Orchid. Well, well. I'm not talking about artists being poor as temple mice. Nem vagyok jóban a virágokkal a nasmán miatt, hogy hogy. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests. Look, he's saying, "Can I not see a sore hideo?" Woman in the black dress. There. Oh shit! No, in the dark. Doesn't wear a mask. It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kaviri orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. De nem igaz, hogy nem tud lemenni a lépcsőn. Paradise, paradise, paradise. Sight, the artist 
Ezek fantomi mesek voltak. Oh, 
Understand, there are a great many highly qualified candidates. Then I shall have to convince you your ample generosity would be best invested in me. I shall arrange a private performance after the soiree. Lanterns. They say releasing them brings good luck. Fine. Let's give it a try. Never suspected you believed in such things. Schmeffontgard. It's all about two things, coin and copulation. Zelazot vice, teoci me. A másik oldal. Más nincs. It's an outrage. The ship never should have performed tonight. We are busy. We wish to be alone. Please, we are busy.
Megtenném, hogyha valaki nem állna be a nyomott ajtóba. Cecilia never should have performed tonight. You should have. It seems someone decided otherwise. That someone knows nothing of true art. It shall be you next time. Trust me. I shall have a word with Oriana person. We are busy. Blah, blah, blah. Not pretentious. I was... We wish to be alone. Please leave. No is nearly as fun as a
I shall go. You ought to be in one of the outposts. Miért nem jelzi a térképen? Szemétjáték készítő. Do not disturb. Shoo, shoo. Mhm. It's the right flower. Of course it is. A Kaviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still! You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Wow. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me? I... I've heard... Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, uh, at one point, the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but, alas, ultimately refused my terms. What was the matter? When he learned I only ever paint nudes, he suffered all contact. He said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her. Such a shame. I think... you may still get your chance. We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But... why? Centrian Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Centrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it, but I did see the nobleman. Really like to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, masked. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame, monsieur. I cannot work like this. You must leave now. Men nem lehet a térképre kitenni a dolgokat. Ideig mindig minden rejtett helyesség rajta volt a térképen, most meg direkt nem teszik rá, hát így aztán kereseti az ember, hányszor kölvemet. Someone left their loot behind. Looks a little like dandelions. This was scratched. Someone beat him once. Vajon miért? Hey. Empty heart-shaped box. Cecilia must have left it behind. It looks like it held a flask of perfume. A gift from the Cynthrian, I imagine. Scent still hangs in the air. Let's follow it. It is irrelevant to the work's ultimate meaning. Such talent. Exceptional truth. Need I remind you that neither did you. <laughs> Hmm. 
Már akkor, hogy csak jó helyre mentem. Az őr pont a izé. A művésznek lédi. As I said, only Mandragora artists allowed. Nothing I can do. Come, we must consider what to do. I, I'd recognize that voice anywhere. You, you must be mistaking me for someone else. I served fifteen years in the palace. Your Grace, I'd not mistake you for anyone. Shh, not so loud. We are here incognito. State business. Yes, Your Grace. How may I serve? I hope we can count on your discretion. Of course. I shall be silent as the grave. Looking for Cecilia Bellant. Seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look like? Tall, broad-shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent, a drawl of sorts. That must be him. We must get to the dressing room, quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. Quickly, upstairs. Uh oh. That must be Cecilia. No pulse. We're too late. He... He slit her throat. The brute. Mm. Didn't go out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana. At once. She should bring her soiree to a close. Shouldn't split up. Get up, I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. <clears throat> hmm. Killed her, then went out on the balcony. Bloody handprint. It's his. Tore down the door. Made a platform. Clever. Must be pretty strong, too. stepped in the soil. Footprints made by soiled boots. Mm, must have climbed this ladder. into it hard then sank to the floor blood stains links of a snap chain jewel must have been on it jewelry box locks busted picked open probably Frame. 
Someone climb out? Fall out? Something in Kevke. Sconce is bent, smeared with blood. Someone try to grab it? Looks valuable, but it's not what he came for. Empty inkwell. Knocked over, turned toward the room. Canvas is cut. Somebody took a knife to the painting, looks like. It's a cash. Hunting knife. Richly ornamented. Used during the fight, probably. Locked. And no key in sight. Stone. Bloody fingerprint on it. Thief came for this. Must have. Tiny chain links next to it. From a snapped necklace? Seems there was a struggle. Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought. Struggled. That's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though, so our Centrion must have been the flyer. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here. But I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything. In full detail. I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like mere ornament, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm-hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrion must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. 
Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the lords of Duntine. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Duntine. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir, Roderick, returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Oriana, everything we discussed here? Hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward. But in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victims' names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. Who were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It... it could be something else altogether. My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. She left court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Geralt, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Could also be because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain, though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. the coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had, that he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. Think your sister might be involved? Why? You see... I recall her always being rather possessive, throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. 
but I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Tusa. Siana received it from father as a gift, at a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl. Someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen, or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm. Could be right. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Dun Tyne, and if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape or form. You must make sure of that. I'll find her if she's there. I hope you do. I very much wish to talk to her, sister to sister. Your Grace, Geralt, I'd like to introduce... Regis! What a surprise! I had no idea you were in Beauclair. And this is... Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Eretain, an arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources no. to the Witch's Hunt. Ah, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages. Literally. Witcher, I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. Few I can rely on like I can on Regis. Kinda hoping he thinks the same of me. Curious. It seems opposites really do attract. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Mm-hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Yeah, Master it too. Witcher, maybe it you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe to toe with a monster, knowing you've only two options to kill or be killed? Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. But what might the monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice when loved ones are at risk and require protection. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trade for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazaire. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. Wanna help Regis? Know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. An exceptional conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly exceptional, Regis. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are going to watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detlaf believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Oriana. Is she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago, before I met you. And before she settled in Beauclair, we'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, I, I can't begin to tell you in how long. But I shall tell you all about her some other day. Guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Mm-hmm.
Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntine Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long-lost sister there too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got a way with... No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Dedloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detlaf. Good luck, my friend. Splendidly, Detlaf. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis, gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your Grace, always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? You have exceptional friends. This Detlaf, an intriguing man to say the least. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much, but I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive, sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost, which is why he comes across as grim. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm-hmm. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count de la Croix Mill. It stands along the San Retour River near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Oh, doesn't it? Say. Oh, Empty to mediation. I make an act. Yeah, I keep a ship on to care at ten. Oh, okay.
dark secrets tales you from a fairy. Another murder by the holy beast! Milton the pale and ah. falls victim to his own George cowardice. The beast of Beaufort. Greetings. This up. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Greeting. What do you have on? Farewell. Good luck on the path. Greet. What do you have on off? Farewell. Good luck on the path. What do you have? Farewell. Good luck on the path. I am greeting. I have a minute to say what do you have on? Is it a care? Szemlélt, hogy tudok eladni cuccokat. Farewell. Good luck on the path.
to be honest. Every last man jack in these parts has got wine and women. Nos, emberek, a mai rész eddig tartott volna. Innen fogom folytatni. Addig is mindenkinek kellemes napot kívánok. Sziasztok!